Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to share with you some make ahead school lunch ideas. Welcome back to my channel again today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like my content and hit that bell if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Today I am preparing for back to school with my three kids. I have an eight year old, a five year old, and a three year old. So they're going into grades three, grade one, and preschool. And I am not a morning person. So I kind of wanted to get a head start and come up with some easy prep ready to go school lunch ideas and I want to share them here with you today with the help of my friends from the brick and the double oven that I have from them. Let's get started. First of all, I want to show you how to make these super easy and cute mini pancake bites. Use a pre-made pancake mix like I am here to save a whole lot of time or use your favorite regular pancake recipe. Then line a mini muffin tin with some mini muffin liners. I would definitely spray these with a non-stick cooking spray or put the batter directly in the muffin liner with a non-stick cooking spray because these can get really sticky. Put the batter in and then you can add anything you want on top of these little pancake bites. So on some of them I'm putting some colorful sprinkles. On some of the other ones I'm going to put some chocolate chips. And then finally, I'm going to use some fresh blueberries for the final batch. I want to bake both of my pre-made lunch snacks together, so I'm going to show you how I make the next thing, and then we're going to bake these in a double oven all together. The next thing I want to show you how to make are these pizza roll-ups. So just spray your surface with some non-stick cooking spray and roll out a piece of rectangular pizza dough. Use pre-made or your favorite recipe and then spread some pizza sauce over the entire thing and then top it with whatever you wish. So for this one I am using some pepperoni and cheese. So I'm just making it really simple but you could use whichever toppings your children love. Finally, after you've topped your pizza, you're just going to roll it up from the long side, almost like you're making cinnamon buns. This can be a little bit tricky, so just go nice and slow and squish everything together so it stays in place. After you've made your pizza roll, just slice it into about half inch to three quarter inch slices and then place your little roll ups into a greased cookie sheet or a pie plate and now I'm going to use my LG double oven I'm putting my bites in the top and I'm putting my pizza rolls in the bottom I have them both at 350 degrees the top ones baking for 15 minutes and the bottom one is baking for 30 minutes and here is how they look after they've baked they're delicious, so I have this savory pizza roll and this sweeter donut bite, and these can be frozen and ready for school lunches. So here are some ideas on combinations you could use with these for lunches. These are really simple, you could make them the night ahead, pop them in the fridge, and then take them out when your kids are ready to go in the morning. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you found that helpful. Let me know in the comments below which lunch idea was your favorite. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.